Welcome to sunny Margate, home to Penny Curran and her daughter Jade. They shared their home in peace until 15 months ago when they decided to get two Old English sheepdogs. A brother and sister duo who started out cute and cuddly but have ended up huge, hairy and uncontrollable. First up, there's Dougal. He's the dopey one. He may not be the brightest puppy in the pound, but what he lacks in brains, he more than makes up for in brawn. His sister is Bumble, a real cutie, who leads her brother astray. Despite the hairy pair's bad behaviour, both at home and away, Penny and Jay dote on their dogs and are constantly cuddling them. This is the prime cuddle spot. But these dogs can go from soft to scary in a matter of seconds. Topping the list of their ASBO antics is the constant jumping up, scratching and biting anyone who dares to come over the doorstep. They can get your whole arm in their mouth and we're constantly covered in scratches and bruises because we're forever being bitten. There are times when you know, it's all I can do to keep my feet. Anyone who comes round knows they come round at their own risk, mm. don't they? Jade's best friend, Louise, is one of the last few to run the canine gauntlet. All they do is jump at you and bite you and nip you and just won't leave you alone at all. I think we feel very isolated now because people don't visit us because they can't deal with the hassle from the dogs. Losing all your friends is one thing, but driving away members of your own family is quite another, especially when it's Penny's 83-year-old mother, Betty. Oh, my mummy. Um, I feel desperately guilty about her. She can't be in the house with the dogs because she's so frightened of them. Even shutting her in a room of her own doesn't keep Betty safe from Bumble and Dougal breaking and entering. They have given me a fair amount of bites in their time. She used to come round the house all the time. Every day she used to be round, but she can't do that now. I feel as if I've been replaced by a dog. This brother and sister are quite literally tearing a family apart, and everyone has had enough. Oh, come on. I want other people to love our dogs, and I want to be able to just... Just do normal things without, without it being so hard. Home. We just don't know which way to turn anymore. But help is on its way. With over 10 years' experience as a dog trainer, Victoria Stilwell is no stranger to canine miscreants. And when it comes to household hierarchy, she knows exactly who should come out on top. Bringing dogs into your home should be fun. But allowing your pets to take over your life and scare away your family and friends is simply madness. Dogs must be taught their place. Old English sheepdogs date back to the 1700s and were originally bred to herd sheep as their long coats insulate them in both hot and cold weather. Their loyalty is legendary, with folklore telling tales of them lying over injured farmers in the field to protect them until help arrived. They might also be known as the Dulux dogs, but these two are certainly no advertiser's dream. Is Victoria facing a whitewash? Wow! Whoa! As soon as she steps through the door, Victoria's hit by the full force of the scary siblings. She's mauled in the hall. Goodness me! And in the lounge, she's swept off her feet. Oh! about one of the most exuberant greetings I've ever had. <laughs> it's kind of like having your headmistress from school coming and watching you being really badly behaved. Yeah. Now Victoria wants to see the full extent of the dog's biting. She decides this is more mouthing than biting, okay. behaviour that's common in puppies okay. but can be dangerous in an adult dog. She just nipped. How long on average a day would you say you would play with your dogs? Very little time. I mean, only about 30 seconds of that was actually play. So we have to make these. These are no longer chew toys. These are my arms, and you do not bite on my arms 
at all. And you do not bite on any of my clothing or any part of my body at all from now on. From what I've seen so far, the mouthing and biting from these dogs is out of control. Old English sheepdogs, they might look fluffy and cuddly, but they are working dogs and they were bred to work. Therefore, they need a lot of exercise, a lot of mental stimulation, firm but fair handling, and if they don't get it, things could easily turn nasty. It's one thing being savaged by sheepdogs when you're Victoria Stillwell, but imagine facing 11 stone of delinquent dogs when you're 7 stone and 83 years old. How many times a week do you come here? I don't. I've been here once since Christmas. Once? I'm scared of the dogs. It would be nice to come here and be together like a family. Grandmother, daughter, granddaughter and dogs. But it doesn't work like that. There's something wrong here somewhere, mm. darling, don't you mm. think? Yes, and that's why I'm here. After a busy morning of being bitten and jumped on, Jade takes Victoria out in the car for a nice trip to the seaside. That is, until Bumble and Dougal spot another dog on the pavement and decide to try and say hello. And once they've started, there's no stopping them. Not content with the backseat bark fest, Dougal tries to get up front. Uh, you know what, I have to say, this is an accident waiting to happen. Mm. Before Victoria does permanent damage to her ears, it's time to ditch the car and take the gruesome twosome for a gentle stroll in the local park. Or maybe not. With doggy friends to be made everywhere, Bumble and Dougal can hardly contain themselves. Penny and Jade aren't finding it a walk in the park either. Bumble and Dougal are not aggressive dogs, but the things that I've seen today, such as the mouthing, the jumping up, barking in the car, barking crazily at other dogs when they're out on a walk, all have the potential to be extremely dangerous. Now, Jade and Penny obviously love their dogs, but they've taken on two dogs, and I think they're out of their depth. It's embarrassing, it is humiliating, and you know that people are looking at you and your dogs and thinking, for goodness sake, why can't these people get their dogs to behave? As Jade is a teacher and her mum an ex-teacher, Victoria takes them back to school for a firm lesson in canine discipline. If you let those kids that you teach with get away with anything, do you think they'd respect you? Of course not, and they'll keep pushing it and get away with however much they can get away with. It's exactly the same with your dogs. I've drawn here three triangles representing really what's going on in this household. Your dog's up here and you're here. And what you're not being to your dogs is a really good teacher. I do think you give them way too much attention. Way too much attention. This is a cuddles chart. <laughs> the only affection that you're going to give your dogs from now on is one cuddle per dog per person a day. Oh no. That's okay. Be hard. Well, you watch a pack of wild dogs, you watch a pack of wild wolves. The leader doesn't give free cuddles. The leader is very calm. And all the other little dogs, or the other wolves, come round and constantly licking the leader's face. You're the little puppies coming up and stroking and fawning over all your leader dogs. Oh, my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> If you follow the training, your dogs will begin to see you in a different light and they will begin to respect you. The most difficult thing is going to be the cuddles. I'm going to find that so difficult because pretty much the whole time I'm with the dogs, they're having cuddles, aren't they? I've given Penny and Jade a really tough regime to follow and it's going to be hard, but they have to cut down their affection for those dogs and this is just the beginning. Day one of the training. And to kick off, Victoria wants to show the terrible twosome just who's in charge. Back. 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 Wait. About to... <gasps> Wait. 
In a matter of minutes, Victoria has shown Bumble and Dougal who's boss. That was absolutely amazing. Now that she's got the dog's full attention, Victoria can move on to the first stage of training, breaking their bad habit of molesting anyone who steps through the front door. First up... Dougal. Wait. To reinforce her leadership, Victoria keeps Wait. the pitch of her voice strong and low, so dogs know Wait. she's really serious. Higher pitches are purely reserved for Wait. praise. Wait. Keeping eye contact all the time. And as for his patient waiting, Dougal is rewarded Wait. with a tasty Good piece of boy. chicken. Good boy. It's time to try him out on a real live person. Wait. Wait. Dave, come in again. Wait. No eye contact. Wait. Wait. Good boy. Good, very good boy. <laughs> Dougal's learned fast. Wait. But how will Penny get on with boisterous Bumble? Wait. Up. Uh, uh. Sit. Wait. Keep on reinforcing Wait. it. Wait. Wait, Bumble. Wait. Good girl. Very good. good. It's a miracle. It is a miracle. <laughs> I want you to keep practicing this. And when I come back, I want you to get it to the point where a stranger can come through the door and they're sitting and waiting and uh, won't be released to greet until you release them. And I'll know because I'll be that stranger at the door. But this is only the beginning for Victoria. Will her firm but fair training regime stop these dogs from biting all in their path? I know one of the major, major problems you have is when the dogs get overexcited that they start jumping up all over you. Nobody jumps up on the leader. Chicken! Oh, good girl. Oh, do you like it? You like Since Bumble's the worst girl. biter, Victoria shows Penny and Jade techniques for tackling it through a game of tug. Good. And up! Whenever Bumble jumps up, Victoria turns her back and plays stops until she's calm again. Take it! Good girl. <laughs> her mouth went onto my hand then, so I squealed to say, Ow, you hurt me like her litter mates did in the litter. As a puppy, a dog will learn from its mother or litter mates when it's using too much teeth. When taken away from the pack, it can forget these early lessons. So it's up to the owner to keep teaching their dog where the boundaries lie. So far, so good. But it's not just their bite that makes big dogs dangerous. It's their ability to overpower their owners. Who's taking who for a walk? No! Well, that's one way of restraining your dogs. But Victoria has something a bit more sedate in mind for Bumble and Dougal. New, safer dog collars. Properly fitted collars should always be as wide as two of the dog's vertebrae to distribute pressure on its neck more evenly. So handsome. With Bumble and Dougal in their correct collars, Victoria has a plan to get them under control when people come round to visit. I have what's known as the tether system. So your dogs can be in the room at the same time as your guests. Your guests can be 100% safe. A tether is a cable that screws into the wall and keeps the dog on a short leash. With two dogs, the tethers need to be placed on opposite sides of the room to stop any fights. This is purely frustration. Eventually, you want to get to the point where you can have them in here and they're listening to you enough that they are sitting and staying or just lying down when you have guests. And their most important guest is, of course, Granny. Don't look at them. As soon as she walks in the room, the dogs go ballistic. But Victoria has a plan for dealing with their squealing. If the dogs bark, everyone leaves the room. The dogs go quiet. They come back in again. The dogs bark, they leave the room. Dogs quiet, back in again. And again. And again. And again. Just when it looks like everyone's at the end of their tether, they finally get the message. It's the first time Granny and dogs have sat down together for nearly a year. It, it doesn't feel as though we've got dogs here in the room with us. Mm. You know, it's really nice. 
I didn't like it at first because the dogs were incredibly stressed, but eventually they calmed down, and obviously with time, they will get calmer quicker. Penny and Jade have had to go cold turkey on the cuddles, but Victoria still wants the dogs to have human contact in a positive way. As more and more people turn to alternative therapies, they're even getting their dogs involved too. Skin's really tight across here. Jane Thomas is a qualified therapist in canine Bowen technique. The Bowen technique is a light touch holistic therapy which aims to rebalance the body. It was actually developed to treat human health problems, but seems to be proving a hit with their four-legged friends. It's one happy dog, I think. Bumble is actually unconfident and more anxious. How would Bowen help that kind of dog? Because it does balance the systems, um, maybe it, it would have more of a calming effect. After Jane has worked her Bowen magic, this brother and sister certainly seem fully chilled out. Day two of training, and with the dogs starting to knuckle under in the house, it's time to tackle their terrible behavior when they're out and about, starting with the car. This is called a doggy seatbelt. The reason why seatbelts are so important is that an average dog, like say a Labrador, maybe that weighs about 60 pounds, if you have an accident at 30 miles an hour, that dog is going to go through your windscreen with the force of a baby elephant. They're going to take your head off on the way out. Nice. If you are going to buckle up, don't use anything that attaches to your dog's collar, as this could cause them serious injury in the event of an accident. With the dogs safely seat belted in the back, Victoria wants to put a stop to their other dangerous distracting car habit, going barking mad when they see another dog. This could easily cause a crash. She blacks out the rear windows and puts a curtain up between the front and back seats so that the dogs are in a cocoon where they can't see out. Here goes. They're very calm, aren't they? Very calm. Can't see anything. At the moment. Because it's the visual stimulation that's obviously making them bark. If they can't see anything, there's nothing to bark at. It's time to try it with the curtain down. You're going to see their reaction as soon as I hear a bark. That curtain's going back yeah. again. <laughs> The dogs quickly catch on that barking equals a boring view. Good girl. Very good. Quiet. Victoria's managed to tame them, but can Jade? Good girl, Bumble. Quiet. Quiet. Wow. Wow. Blimmin' good she girl. did that. Really good, good Jade. Girl. She was having a look. She really was, wasn't she? She wanted to go. Oh. <laughs> You were taking control of the situation. Yeah, I'm the boss. Yeah. <laughs> it feels nice to be the boss. Yeah. <laughs> After coming on leaps and bounds in the car, Victoria, Jade and dogs go to meet Penny to stretch their legs by the sea. I think one of the reasons why the dogs appear so hyperactive and get so excitable is that they need more exercise. And old English sheepdogs need, on average, about two hours of good aerobic exercise a day. And Victoria has some novel ideas for wearing the dogs out, as well as their owners. Good boy! Lovely. Cycling's a great way to burn off energy for both dog and owner. Just don't go too fast. Take lots of breaks and plenty of water. Good boy! Here we go! Come on, Jimbo! Yeah! He likes it. He really likes it. Now that Dougal's had a good run round, it's time to meet up with Penny and Bumble for a bit of doggy paddling. Whoa. Swimming can be great exercise for dogs, particularly for a breed like an old English sheepdog, which has a thick coat and can easily overheat. There are even life jackets, especially for dogs, to ensure they stay afloat. I think the overriding feeling is that if we work really hard and we get the dogs to work really hard, then I think we can have success. Bumble and Dougal are a very determined pair. And as long as Penny and Jade show their leadership skills, I think I will see a big change when I come back. But it's not going to be an easy road at all. Wait. While Victoria's away, Penny and Jade work really hard to keep the training going cutting down on cuddles, practicing with the tethers, 
and keeping up the exercise regime. It's time for Victoria to come back to see how they're getting on. Three weeks ago, when she first came here, Victoria was jumped on, mouthed and nearly knocked off her feet. What kind of reception will she get now? Wait. Come in. Wait. Wait. Good girl. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. Wait. Wait. Good Victoria's boy. safely through the front door. But will it be Stillwell's last stand in the sitting room? Ah, 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 ah. Good boy, Dougal. Your control is a thousand percent better. It's unbelievable. Last time, I was like this. Remember, with pinned to the seat. They're not even on their tethers. It's fantastic. It's more than I expected. I know you've been working hard. Right from the beginning, we saw results. Um, I mean, I think we both had apoplexy when we saw the cuddle chart. But it's undoubtedly made the difference. And we feel that we have regained control of the animals now. They're, they're not ruling us. We are now in control of them. And to show just how far things have moved on, look who's come over for a visit. Betty. Hello, darling. How are you feeling now with the dogs? They're off the lead, you're here. It's like having a new lease of life, darling. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bumble, Lovely. what a good girl. Just a month ago, this was a miserable family being torn apart by their pets. Now, Betty finally has her dream of being able to sit in safety with her daughter, granddaughter, and Bumble and Dougal. It's a sad, amazing understatement, darling. I can't believe they're both the same dogs. I think we're really proud of ourselves that we've achieved so much in sh such a short space of time. I think it's really difficult to say what it's meant to us because it's meant so much. They seem happier, the dogs seem happier, and a family that was split apart is actually now coming together. It has changed our lives completely.